Miguel! Miguel! Is he hurt? of His Imperial Majesty, Maximilian, Emperor of Mexico, the military court of the Second Division has condemned to death the bandit Emiliano Ramirez, so-called general of the Juarista insurrectionists, the priest, Vittoriano Pacheco, and these members of the said Juarista band under Ramirez's command, Firminio Mendoza, Iguazio Bonarius, Francisco Bienvenidas, Augustino Urieras, Pepe Ibarra, Luis Enriquez, and Ifemio Garancia. Sentence to be carried out immediately. Platoon, take your position. Ready? Take aim. Fire! Next thing you know, the machine will be sewing bullets and shooting threads. It's about time you came crawling in. I had a few doubts about the deal. I thought it was only a question of money. It is. You may find I'm out of your price range. The revolution is poor, Gringo. Follow me. Stop you, but uh, what is the deal? Jewels. <laughs> Jewels which Maximilian stole from the country. They're worth a million pesos. Ah! Oh. Where are they? I saw this moment on their way to the U.S. Yeah! They 
lovely black bag with a gold eagle on it. Bag? How come you don't go after it yourself? Because I'm busy right now running a revolution. And also because I could never get across the border. <laughs> that was very clever. Come on. Again, General, but coming back to the bag. What's to stop me from keeping the jewel? I'll have to take the chance. With 10% cover the risk. 20 for full insurance. Another 10 for saving your ski. That's a stiff premium, Gringo. All right, better get moving if you want to catch up with that carriage. That carriage? We are honored that Count Mendoza, His Imperial Majesty's Chamberlain, has on his journey to the United States decided to grace our poor monastery with his noble presence. And it gives us great pleasure that this happy occasion coincides with the feast day of our patron Saint San Firmino. And now, in the very words of the saint, we offer a little prayer for His Majesty's envoy to guide us in all our thoughts and deeds. Now, as well as in the hour of your death. Oh, Padre. No, friend, just yours. <laughs> Go on. Go. Come on, hustle. Turn those bags inside out. You find anything? Nope. Just clothes. Then search that other bag. Don't bail. Nothing in here, Slocum. Hey, Jackdaw, check out something on their roof. Well, did you find it? No, there ain't nothing up here. Well, keep looking. It's got to be somewhere. I found it! Throw it here! 
<laughs> I guess they thought that was getting real fucked. Don't make it out fucked up. Ah, <laughs> uh, quit jabbering, Penny Boy. Let's move. I want to make sure I get my shit. Come on. Nice work, boys. Well, can't keep the boss waiting. Hold on, Fortune. We all done our part of the job, now I think we ought to get a split. Hmm. You think so, huh? Yeah, and the others do, too. Sure, that's right. We all deserve a share. It's only yeah. yeah, why don't we divvy up the Can't whole thing, huh? Right. We all got paid in advance for the work. But if you insist on being given a cut, glad to oblige. Anyone else think they ought to have a cut? No, huh? No, you're not going to divide it because I'm going to take it all. Quick! Somebody broke the door! Jack, no! Hey, boy! Cover the window! I'm trying to see my own nose! <laughs> I don't want to go to hell. Let me confess. I murdered the governor of Chihuahua. I blew up these soldiers' mess hall while they were eating. I... Look, I'm not here to talk about politics, my boy. Let's come to the point. Eh? Have you been to church? Mi general! Mi general! Our company suffered heavy losses, including Lieutenant Orieto. Sobrecito. I appoint you the new lieutenant. But I was appointed captain last week. All right, you're promoted to colonel. Come on, us. Not a very pretty way for soldiers to die with a rope around their necks, is it, General? Shut up. You think I take pleasure in killing? I know a firing squad is a better way to die, but we can't afford to waste ammunition. General, I'm talking to you as a man of God. Now, then talk about matters that concern the church and keep your saintly nose out of my business. Uh, don't worry, though. Soon everything will change for the better. If the gringo returns with the jewels. Of course. Now we can fight a real war and win it. Do you play the guard? Give me in and out. There's no one inside. Give me in and out. Only the gringo if he gets here. And then only on my own. The gringo is inside waiting for him. But how did the hombre get in? Get here. Let's go. This wine was for the general. Hmm. Too much liquor is bad for a fighting man. 
Howdy there, General. How's the revolution going? Don't waste my time, amigo. Be back in it here. First things first. I'd like to know what the joke is before you start laughing. Well, what do you mean? I don't understand. I don't find it funny risking my life for 20% of a heap of glass. So, this is it, huh? They look like fakes. They are fakes. Dirty cabron. You see, he's a trick. You know, you got General. You know. In front of a priest. You are trying to undermine the revolution. General, listen, if I'd gotten my hands on the real thing, I assure you, I'd have cleared out. Oh, oh, it's too much pain. Go bring me the doctor, Padre. Can't be done. He's one of the ones who had the man hang. Can't be done. Precisely. Suppose I have a look at it, General. All right. Be careful, though, Gringo. If you let me die, I'll break your stupid neck. Don't worry. I'm painless. If you die, you won't feel a thing. Let's put the General over there. Okay, you three hold him. And you, Padre. If he starts to fuss, give him a cock in the head. Con mucho gusto. Well, Yankee. Lucky you were born with fat legs. The bullet stopped just short of the central vein. Oh, stop trying to avoid this subject. Where are the real jewels? Go get me that bottle. If you want the truth, right now I don't know. There's always a possibility I could go look for him. This time I get the fee up front. You bloodsucker. The revolution has the money. Ah, cojono! I could give you an IOU short term. Payable when we win. Don't make me laugh. You might spoil the operation. I've got my principles too, General. Never work on credit. How about one third of the jewels? Thief! Ah! Oh! Muy bien, I said to you. I get the feeling you're a tad greedy. You really want them all to yourself, isn't that it? No, no, not for me. We need them for the revolution. Those jewels belong to the people of Mexico. <laughs> Maximilian Curse's mother. He tends to sell them for guns, guns to massacre. Ah, they are machine guns. Once he gets them into his hands, we'll all get it right. General! Shot full of holes. Oh! 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 But I want to get my men those machine guns. It might be a help if you told me who's selling them. Hey, Gringo and Yuka just across the Rio Grande proposed a deal to the Emperor, but told him he couldn't wait very long. You won't have long to wait now, General. Jesus! Anybody know how often this kind of operation succeeds? Well, I guess it's one out of one with the corkscrew. You fellas can do the rest. Now, if you'll pass the bag, I believe I'll be going. You forgot one little detail. What names you go by? Quien mm. sabe. How to do, Mr. Krantz? Sheriff? Merchandise all in order, boys? Yes, sir, boys? Mr. Krantz, sure is. You're to let no one in, understand? I don't want to be disturbed. Yes, sir.
Howdy. Welcome to Yucca, stranger. How's chances of getting a bed? A room, sure. It costs you two dollars a day. That is, paid in the bag. Uh, how long are you going to be here? This much. Say you had something you wanted to send to Mexico without too many questions. Oh, yeah? Who'd you take your cargo to? Oh, Mr. Cran, who else? Uh, I'll leave this bag with you. Oh, I sure. Oh. Is it something valuable? You might say. Where can I find our friend Krantz? Well, that's no problem at all. Over to a store down the street. Got a huge sign over it so dang big a blind dog could eat it. Door's closed, fella. Try again tomorrow, from 9 to 5. Oh, I have something here that Mr. Krantz wanted today. It's important, boys. See the eagle? On your way. The boss is too busy now. Oh. Mind holding this for me a minute? Gertrude, what is that strange odor? Chloroform. Hold still, Krantz. Whenever I try to shave myself, I always make a mess. I tremble something awful. Who are you? How did you get in here? Why don't we get out of something interesting? Like the machine guns you could arrange to sell me. Now, don't go jostling for your gun. After all, things can happen almost before you know it with the razor. This, this is outrageous, mister. I deal in agricultural machines, and that's all. If you want guns, you'll have to look elsewhere. Anything you say, Krantz. <clears throat> only I better warn you, the jewels you're waiting for aren't gonna get here, because only I know where they are. I don't know what you're talking about. Jewels or machine guns? Now get out of here before I lose my temper and call my men. Afraid that'll take some real loud yelling, Krantz. Anytime you change your mind, the hotel's where I'll be. If you're interested, I'm acting for General Ramirez. I hope you hid those guns somewhere where you can get your hands on them in a hurry. I don't cut much to sticking around. of a convent, a nun's house, where I can get a cell to sleep in for the night? <laughs> I can't quite recommend our city jail, lady. <laughs> sister, please. Uh, of course, of course, sister. But like I was going to say, here in Yucca, there ain't no convent like what you're looking for. I'm sorry. Man, hey like there, this. sister. Uh, yes? I got plenty of space. You could stay with me if you like. I'm a God-feared man. Go to you leave alone, Gluck. You keep out of this, Ebenezer. Well, sister, what do you say? May your thoughtfulness be rewarded, senor. I'll say amen to that. Then hold this, will you? Please, senor, he... He's nothing but a dirty old man. It's 40 miles to the nearest church. You really think he'd hoof it all the way just to save his soul? No, certainly not. I'll take back my bag now, friend. 
and the sister gets the room next to mine. And when you're inside, make sure the door is locked. That way I can hear if anyone tries to get in. Someone for you uh, downstairs, uh, Mr. You b b better go. Hmm. You don't mean good old Krantz. <laughs> you know what, Ebenezer? Looks like you had a dream. He was right here just a moment ago, I swear. I saw the fellow with my own eyes. You shouldn't drink when your belly's empty. It's no good for you. <laughs> Move, you dirty bastard. Well, I wouldn't think of it, Sheriff. Get your hands up in the air. You got any other weapons? Well, I do have a machine gun. Machine gun? Now, don't you get funny with me. Of course not, Sheriff. Mind my asking why I'm being arrested? You're asking me after killing 16 innocent Christians at the Morelos Monastery? Morelos? That's right. Never heard of it. Either one? Yes. Yes, I recognize him. Looks like we're going to have a regular battle in here tonight. That looks like the roaches might win it. Don't let it bother you. It's only for tonight. Ah, that's better. I got no hard feelings, Sheriff. Tomorrow I'll buy you a beer. Oh, tomorrow you're going to be strung up. What the devil? What is this, a joke? You got something against me? Nah, heck, it ain't nothing personal. You see, a couple of months ago, this here peon had the nerve to hold up a bank and sneak back over the border. Now, my colleague in Mexico, being professional, he hanged a varmint, and the least I can do is return a courtesy. Hmm. You got a good point there, Sheriff. Hmm? Sheriff! Sheriff, we got a little trouble at Davis's. I'll be right over.
on, hurry. Brothers, leave the order, or have you been sent to hear my confession? What's going on? Shh. They were fighting over which bunk they wanted. They just made peace with each other. Bill! Somebody kidnapped the sister. Whose sister? Oh, man, are you dumb. The female preacher. Sheriff thinks I'll be heading for the border. Come on. and I got out of the carriage. The carriage was a red herring, plain and simple. They sent the real McCoy with someone else. What is that for? Ah, I think he's looking for them, the same as us. Only came here to find out if they've been delivered already. Damn. That's what I get for putting my trust in him, petty thief. Put your trust wherever you like. Just don't forget the bigger the thief, the harder he falls. Hmm. Well put, Fortune. Now, let's get on with finding the real jewels. And rigging it so they'll blame the loss on their rebel peons. You know, it might be worth it to try the same trick on this Ramirez. He wants arms as bad as our friend Max. I'm sure he could find some gold somewhere around. It'd only be worth small change at best, though. And right now, I want to find the jewels. 
Empress Nun, I wonder if we have a royal courier hiding under that habit. She's already up at the monastery. And probably talking a fool head off by now. You better spill it, sis. I ain't gonna be patient forever. Well, how about it? I know nothing. Nothing of what you want. Please, I beseech you. Okay. If I'm not holy enough to be told, you can tell it to Horace. <laughs> Jake, go get him. Hey, dummy, wake up. Mm. I'm awake. I'm just watching Penny Boy and Butch sifting corn. Real local color. the old days. When outlaws was outlaws and fine upstanding men. And not a not a bunch of uh, uh, riff raff. You see now, Horace there, uh, don't much appreciate your little cheek shutting him in. Oh, he'll be all right for a while. But then he's gonna begin slapping his little tail around because he's angry, see? Hey, I just spent the night in here. Come on, spoot him up. Worse than a herd of pigs. Hey, make sure you stay still. There's enough for everyone. And simmer down, all of you. He's a lady present. Uh, no, where was I? Yeah, now, Horace here just won't listen to reason. He'll say, she's in my way, so I got to sting her. And when he does. What the blazes do you call this? Monk's a lie. Don't be funny. This Look, just got to be different. Right, I got something a little better, huh? All right, what's all the fuss? Here's all the fuss. Take a chew of this. Have your pudding. Beans and corn. A couple of cow pats, too? Yeah, I might have. Well, I did. You had it coming, dang you. Dang all of you. I'm going back to He's Utah. the one I ought to be forced to eat it. When you start, if you're real lucky, you drop dead. If not, you'll be paralyzed for the rest of your days. Nice thought, huh? <laughs> you really want to go through all that pain? <laughs> Just for a few jewels? Don't sound reasonable to me. Come on, now. I don't know anything. God have mercy on you all. What the hell? See what's going on out there, Larry. Jake, you go with him.
No, he wants to play hide and seek with me, huh? <laughs> Spread out, hey, uh, gentlemen. Mind my asking you. Mind my asking if one of you. That is to say, any of you have a light? Right up there, quick outside. Let's go. Hey, gentlemen. Find those beans at a strange taste? That's because I seasoned them with a nice, strong fur. Guaranteed by a veterinarian. Other way. Of course, he usually gives it to mules. I don't know. Oh, those poor darn mules. Oh, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Over here, gentlemen. I got something to help you out. It's a little shy on the bed and bard side, but still, you gotta admit, it's better accommodations than back in Morales. I mean, at least we don't have to worry about scorpions here. Of course, what keeps them away is the rattlesnakes. Figure it this way. The burial cave is still a step or two above hell. Now, there's a thought. If a nun bears false witness, does that score a point for the devil? In the name of heaven, what are you going to do with me? Well, it is what you've done already. Like throwing me to the hangman for a start. Hmm? The end justified. The means, I suppose. In this case, the end being a bag of jewels. Now, it's obvious that back there at the hotel, you recognized the bag, or at least knew of its existence. Is that water there? I always believed you renounced worldly goods when you became part of a religious order. You getting out of the habit, sister? I'm dying for a drink. You don't have to want them for yourself, of course. But then who are you working for? Mother Church or Emperor Maximilian? I'll explain everything to you. Please, the water. It'd be more refreshing after you talk. I've been ordered to the States on a mission. Now we're getting somewhere. What kind of a mission? To make sure that a great treasure arrives there safely. The sacred relic of Santa Rosina. Nope, we're not there yet. Maybe you should talk to General Ramirez. Who 
is this General Ramirez? You really don't know him, huh? Well, the General was informed that uh, one of Maximilian's agents was to ride her on the deal and make sure that the jewels got to their destination. Now, who'd suspect or not? Aside from the devil, I mean. And yours truly. I wonder what that relic looks like. Don't touch that box, it's sacred. Don't do it, please. In the name of heaven, you can't. It would be sacrilegious. No. Don't force it open. You're gonna open it. You might as well give me the key. I keep it under here. You wouldn't dare violate a nun. <laughs> No, wait, don't. There's someone behind you over there. Now, that's such an old trick. <coughs> Worthless scum! <coughs> you can't even hold on to a woman while I'll teach you on your feet! You bastard, I wouldn't try it, but... Don't blame it all on Frank. They took us by surprise. Oh, number is two. Bunch of clowns! On top of it all, you couldn't even make her talk! I searched her up and down, though, and there was no jewels anywhere. Not even in a box. You didn't search her. A box? What box? Oh, the one on the donkey, but there wasn't nothing in it. I opened it. And yeah, did you take it apart, though? What? Did you look for a secret drawer? Uh, no, huh? Yes. Well, don't stay in there. Find that nun! I have two good reasons to have you shot. First, I've been looking for the bandit who attacked a certain carriage, and second, for the one who saved that dog, Ramirez. But now I have them both right here in front of me, huh, gringo bastardo? Sorry, sister, I... We'll overlook it this time. But with your permission, I'd better be on my way now. As you wish, in fact. I will even give you a small escort to prevent any further unpleasantness. Well, by Garcia. Thank you, Colonel. Well, Captain... You must have faith. After such a brilliant capture, your superiors are certain to reward you. Please. Well, there is one last thing. Please try to forgive the poor sinner if you can. Forgive the dog? <laughs> if he doesn't tell me what he's done with the jewels, what I'll do with him, I wouldn't even tell my confessor. Oh, do have pity on him, I beg you. Damn it, Gringo, talk. I'll tell you what is going to happen if you don't. First, I will tie you up like a pig you are, then I will shove an apple in your mouth, and then we're going to have roast Gringo. Tie the dog to the stick. I'm gonna make my old friend Ramirez mad, Captain. Say nothing of how mad I'm gonna get. And right now they are torturing him, me general. Mm. He's a brave gringo. He will die like a man. Madre de Dios! You're the one who guided me to all this trouble, you rotten excuse for a general. You should get him out of it. All men pass on. The revolution is what counts. And the nun is the one we should go after. Why do you think our lousy gringo friend was with her anyhow? I have no idea. That's why you're only a priest. That carriage was a decoy to fool us. And all the time, who had the real jewels? A humble nun. I warned you, Captain. You shouldn't have gotten my back up like that. Uh, by the way, your superiors are certain to give you a reward. Take heart, Boma boy. Ten years are nothing in an army jail. make camp here, sister. It is not too safe to travel after dark. But the border, I've got to get there this evening. I, it's a small favor to ask. The horses are tired and so are we. You see how peaceful it is here, sister. Pretty little gal, ain't she? <laughs> if you know what I mean. <laughs> hey, don't be a 
careful. The Jules ain't here, and that means she hit him. And if she can't talk because we messed her up, fortune will tear us apart. Think I'm in a check, though. <laughs> Them two soldiers could have been the ones who done it. <laughs> right, Trace? Sure, Russ. Yeah. Well, let's get her. <laughs> No, don't you touch me. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh. I would have nasty disposition. You better cooperate, gal. No one gonna save you. Not even prayer, your guardian angel. You hear music? You bats, Russ. Of course I hear music. Seen one of them, Trace? Must have escaped out of the circus. Hey, what's the matter, clown boy? Can't you talk? Yeah, that's what he is. Deaf and dumb. Talk to that guitar there. Well, that was a real nice song there, clown boy. Here, go buy yourself a drink. <laughs> that ain't enough, Ross. Can't you see that sourpuss look on his face? <laughs> <laughs> now, you best tell us your name. Else how me and my pals to know what you're supposed to put on your headstone. Alexei, the Grand Duke Vyosarvich Kopenkin. General of the Cossack Royal Guard, Lord Protector of Bielorussia and Alaska. Take that and stick it, you know where. <gasps> Fear not, innocent dove. The vultures have lost their feathers. The Lord reward you with his blessing, Senor. Your Highness. Call me your highness, or Grand Duke Protector, as do your sisters in the convent of Our Lady of Kazan in Kiev. My family has had this honor for more than 800 years. Hmm. I should say you've strayed rather afar, your highness. There are no near horizons for one who is seeking fame, power, and glory. And uh, speaking of seeking, it seems that these scoundrels were seeking something of yours. What I am bearing only has value for the faithful, Your Highness. It's a relic of our saint. A relic is a fragment of spirituality. But I was thinking of something more of this world. Of jewels, for instance. You don't mean even you. Ah. Are there others seeking them? A certain hallelujah for one. Then General Ramirez. And let me see, uh, uh, the soldiers of Maximilian. His Imperial Majesty Maximilian, whom I have the honor to serve, has indeed every right to desire them, for they are his. Your Highness, General Ramirez is... Ah, please. I become ill at the very mention of the name of that loathsome personage, of that bandit, of that clown, of a revolutionary, of that disease. I said General Ramirez is... My dear sister, do you think I could be concerned with this brute? He isn't capable of finding the jewels. <laughs> That's what I was trying to tell you, that General Ramirez is here. <laughs> sister, you forgot you. <laughs> <laughs> your relic, sister! You're forgetting your relic! I <laughs> Look, she left her relic. What relic, Padre? Uh, <laughs> I have a foreign friend to worry about. But I thought we were going right back to the village. So is he. He's clown of a revolutionary. He's bandido. He's a, what was it he said? Brute. A brute. Uh, knows a hundred ways of loosening that fire in a silver tongue. We're not. Uh, <laughs> oh, look, look. Oh, he's young. Yeah, 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 yeah. What in heaven's name? What do you ladies think you're doing? Get away from there. 
Go on. Get away. Shame on you. Go on. I protest. This is an impossible outrage. How dare you oblige a grand duke to undress before commoners? Better save your breath. Her obligations have hardly begun. Have you found anything? Nothing, my general. I should like to be generous with you peasants. I shall therefore offer you a proposition. You are offering me, huh? All right, what? Release me, and I shall elevate you to the order of Saint Ivan the Terrible. And after all, that which I said concerning the jewels was meant as a joke. And you swallowed it. You swallowed it in a pig's ear. You will swallow, though I promise that. This is an atrocity, General. Well, he's a fellow Christian, as far as I know. That is enough, priest. I'll fill him until he floats away. If he doesn't tell us where the jewels are. Remove the funnel. Well, Your Highness. Here, goes. Start the water. Start the water again. Ingman, what? Look here. He's full to the brim. Wake up. You hear me? Wake up. Madre de Dios. Now what do we tell the general? Hear what's going on. I think he's dead. Don't go tell the general. And so fast at least we get for this is a fraud's cut. This is all your fault. He said to go slowly, you fool. We did just as he told us. One tenful of water every ten minutes. Shh, keep it down. Now give me a hand. We are going to in time. Hurry. Turn him over. I'll squeeze him. One. Two. Three. That's it. Look, he's still alive. Crazy? I'm not Russian. Don't ask me. Holy thing, oh! Don't shoot! The man could be crazy. It's bad luck. What are you two doing here? I thought I said to load the wagon. 
I get the feeling you're in rather a hurry, Mr. Krantz. Or should I say Mr. Johnson, as you called yourself in Montana? In case you've forgotten, that's when you were selling army rifles to Flying Bear and his Sioux renegades. For a start, this bag will no longer be of any use to you. And now let's talk about a certain man you killed in the Chinese laundry. And what that man got killed for in the first... Well done, Gertrude. You too. I'm sure you know what to do with her. But be quick about it. See you come in, though, of course, I didn't see you leave either. Uh, for all that, uh, from the jail, I mean. I had to come back to settle the bill. <laughs> there was no hurry. Oh, I plumb forgot to burn it. I have a telegram for you, mister. Actually, you got a worried kind of look there. On the contrary. <laughs> Just in time, thank the good Lord. I got your telegram. Where are they? Over there. <laughs> Come on, hurry. There's nothing down here. Mr. Kranz is very slick. There were 40 boxes there. Now, wait a minute. You have 40 boxes? You mean with a jewel in each one? A jewel? No, with a machine gun in each one. I don't want to seem pushy or anything, sister. Uh, but the jewels. Oh, yes. Kranz also has them. He's just not aware of it. Hey! What the devil's going on? Who's that clanging? Louis is in here someplace and we gotta find him. Now get going. You check the vat. Someone cover the doors. Move it. You aren't mad that I tricked you like that, are you? Why, no, not in the least. <laughs> Behind your ears. <laughs> oh. 
Tell me, Yankee. Where are the jewels? Man, those are some duds. Who are you? Excuse me, I'm talking. Alexei Grand Duke Vyasarovich Kopenkin, General of the Cossack Royal Guard, Lord Protector of Yellow Russia, and would you mind? Go ahead. And Governor of Alaska. I let my hair go. And you are hallelujah, are you not, peasant? Hit the nail right on the head there, Rusky. Your Highness is the polite term. Over there! Where? There! One moment. Have you found that for which you were looking? You think if I'd found it, I'd still be here? <laughs> Say, ah. Uh -huh. Ah, <laughs> How do I know you're telling the truth? You don't, do you? All right, let's get it, boys. It's impossible to speak here. Will you give me a hand? Of course, I'd love to. Thank you. Ah! Hey! Hey! Oh, where is he? You're gonna pay now, fella! still be here if I knew where. There's the buzzard! Come on! I'll slit your rocket throat! Why did you come here? I wanted to have a pair of socks, Lodger. Don't be impudent. In Holy Russia, I've killed far less than that. You were worse than the Great Plague, I'm sure, Rusky. Don't call me Rusky. All right, then, Red. Now, listen. You were hired by Maximilian, and I was hired by Ramirez. Is that right? I don't know what they offered you, Rusky. But what they offered me would drive a man to drink. I want all of it. Continue, Yankee. You know, if a Yankee and a Rusky played hound dog together, figured they'd get the world up a tree. So? It's a little secret I'm gonna let you in on. Why, you son of a Russian be Beware, peasant. In my country, one says, the eagle does not fly with the crows. Now look, eagle, get down off your cloud and try using your head a little. Don't you see, I only told you where they are because I know getting them is too much alone. It disgusts me to do business with a Yankee. Well, I'm reasonable, Rusky, and I try to deal fair. Let's split it up the middle. A Vyasarovich Kopenkin never betrays an emperor. But I will make you a magnanimous offer. Disappear, and I will not kill you. Well, I'm gone, Rusky. I'll give you a last chance. Come on, heads or tails? Heads, I kill you. Tails, you die.
Your Highness. Hold it right there. And now you're going to come with us. Let's see a little work out there. Them Mexicans are liable to show any minute. I'm talking to you, Slocum. Quit dragging. Oh, hell, we're just about done. Oh, hell, nothing. You ain't hardly begun. Get moving. All right, you heard him. He'll be on your head if you ain't ready. Make sure you've got enough rifles there, Cookie. I got plenty. Don't shoot one at a time. Hey, you there, see that gun there a mile off. Cover it up. Everything's going fine out there. A few more details and the party can begin. We're going to do business today with Ramirez. The general's expecting to buy some machine guns. However, we're only going to give him the bullets. <laughs> <laughs> you see, he could never meet my price, so I'll simply take whatever he offers to cover my expenses and then uh, sell my arms to make some million. I'm sorry, we have to make you lose a friend this way, but uh, business is business. You're no friend of mine. Let me sitting in hot water. So he did, and that water's going to get much hotter if you don't tell me exactly where those jewels are. You've already got them, right there under your nose. Mister, that's enough. I give in. Do I have your word you'll let me out of here then? You have my word of honor. Now, how could a man doubt the word of honor of someone like you? Why'd you give him your word, Mr. Kranz? Because, my dear Fortune, it isn't worth a damn. That's where they are. <laughs> I gotta admit, that's pretty funny. It's an amusing world, friend. Cut that bastard down! See one, it's a filthy trick. Why don't you stay there, man? Fire!
Gertrude, the other machine gun. You two, get over here. you too. Tricks. Well done, Fortune. Right now, I wouldn't give a dollar for that scum's chances. A dollar, hell. I wouldn't even give five cents. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Thor, don't take your eyes off of it for one second, understand?
Our marksmanship is worthy of a Russian. Yeah, it makes twice now. They're a bad habit, these make-believe shootouts. Show, amigos. You mind explaining that? I watched the whole thing sitting on the hill there. You did, huh? Well, next time, warn us. And we'll sell you a ticket. Why didn't you come and help us, bandit? What for? The two of you were doing so well by yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you, I wouldn't do that. If you know a reason why I shouldn't, say it, bandit. Uh, he knows a reason. <laughs> For sure. What are you waiting around for, Gringo? Huh? There's nothing for you here. You were in this only for the jewels, not to help the revolution by getting me the machine gun. I owe you nothing. That you were bringing Krantz as much gold as he wanted. Best I ever got was promises of you and your poor revolution. Promises of a treasure and jewels that never existed, Honey, General. Gold? Yes, gold. How much do you have, bandit? No move or I'll fire. You're not going to see any gold. You're not going to see anything again. I shoot for and pigs I find working for Maximilian. And that's you. <laughs> for Maximilian? No. He's one of his worst enemies, amigo. Ask him who it was that stole the Emperor's diamond crown right smack out of the royal palace two months ago. It was false. The real jewels were already gone. He did? Jesus. But then who the hell are you, your highness? Alexei Ivanovich, alias the bear, also wanted by the law in Russia. Who'd ever think he could make off with the Tsar's royal train alone? That's who. He took it all the way to Paris. Up alone. <laughs> it was child's play. I'll pay you to play here. Now wait just one second there, General. You're begging to pay him, and he hasn't even started working yet. Now, me. How about me? He's too much to ask you to be a little idealistic, eh? They're all yours. It's not money. Amigo, they are IOUs. I prepared them for Senor Grant. Ah, and signed by, uh... Mm -hmm. By the slickest thief in this country. Oh, these are perfect for me, General. For me to wipe my... Every ass has been loaded. It's all done, General. I've got every ass loaded. And I just found 11 more guns in the summer. <laughs> oh, and we also found the wife of Senor Krant. She's in rather bad condition. And these pieces of his sisters have it here. Let us pray nothing bad happened to her. I'm afraid not. Think so? Jose, put the last guns on some of the horses. Vamos! <laughs> Senores! I want to finish our grand revolution. And see that you win it, General. Yeah, so you can at least pay me something on these. Of course. Oh, but don't forget, amigo. Uh, patience is a virtue. You open it. No, you. Together, then. That little bitch of a... Yes, she is. Are we gonna let a female do that to us? In the name of the President of the United States of America, I have the honor of awarding this Congressional Medal of Merit to Lieutenant Donovan of our United States Secret Service, 
who by virtue of extreme bravery in the face of great danger and travail, brought to a totally successful conclusion the operation to cut off the illegal arms traffic to Mexico, and who saw that justice was served on the gang that operated it. Congratulations, Lieutenant Donovan. I'll bet you that they give her a nice big medal anyhow. In spite of the fact that we caught up with her and traded back the potatoes. I can see it all now. Speeches, a whole line of applauding bigwigs. How I understand you, Yankee. It would have pleased me also. But it's not a thing for people like us. Ah, you're right. We'll never see a medal. Not in our line of work. You know, working for the government, you get all kinds of security, too. But one doesn't get rich working for the government. So I hear tell. You gotta be working in, not for the government to get rich. Words of wisdom. And such men don't even have to sweat for their wealth like you and I, comrade. I mean, friend. <laughs> what an idea, though, to hide the real jewels inside the fakes. Who would have guessed? No one. Except us. Remember what I told you? A Yankee and a Rusky played hound dog together. They'd have the world up a tree. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>